Hello, this is Brian Purdy with the Florida Aviation Network. Once again at Air Adventure 2021, today in the opener uh, display for the Black Fly. Today with us is Christina Minton, Chief uh, Operating Officer for the uh, test, flight test of propulsion. Uh, yeah, I'm the Director of Operations and I run flight testing and propulsion. Uh, so uh, I have my hands on a lot of the different safety, certification, and uh, testing of the aircraft. Oh my gosh. You are so young to be having such a responsible position. Um, but I'm glad you're always put in there that safety aspect. We're, we're big on safety and I'm sure you are. And on a new endeavor like this, it must be a challenge. So Blackfly is classified as a Part 103 ultralight. So that means that the aircraft does not need to be certified and you do not need a pilot's license to fly it. So that means that all the responsibility is put on us yeah. to design the aircraft such that it will be safe. Um, and that the operator will be trained sufficiently to know how to be a responsible and safe pilot. So we have an in-house training program that we complete with every one of our pilots uh, and that we're developing for every one of our customers uh, so that they really feel comfortable in the aircraft before they ever take it home. Is there a time frame on how long that training will take or is it just individual? Per I mean, I think you can go through the training in something like two days. Uh, oh, wow. There's simulator training, there's a, a training so you understand Part 103 requirements and so you understand the different components of the aircraft. So um, but it, most of the different controls are very intuitive okay. and it's just a joystick that controls the aircraft and then the flight computers do everything else. Okay. So having a, a, a formal piloting course may actually be a detriment. So we have found that the people who are about 13 years old <laughs> tend to be the ones who pick up the training the quickest. Do ultralights have an age restriction? They do not, but we are restricting it to 18 years. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, great. Oh, well, uh, you've, the Black Fly has been here several years before um, in our innovation tent, uh, I think last time in 2019. Um, has... What has happened in this last couple of years that uh, has, is going to put you out in the forefront of all this? I know it's, it looks amazing. The idea is amazing. Uh, are you making technological improvements each day, as it were? Absolutely. I mean, we've made huge amounts of improvements of the aircraft uh, since we were here in 2018 and since we were here in 2019. Uh, we, we really have a, um, a lot more people who know who we are. In the beginning, no one knew who we were. Um, we came out of stealth mode after we had flown uh, tens of thousands of miles of successful flight and knew that we had a product that was safe and reliable and uh, not quite ready for production. So we've moved now to production and we're uh, producing the aircraft that will be sold. Okay, so there was a chance for somebody were calling in UFOs and it was you guys. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and then the biggest thing is that we are flying this year at EA Air Venture. Oh, yes. So we flew two flights on Tuesday and we're flying again tomorrow. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to it. It looks very fun. I think we've talked uh, about the aspect of more recreation than business use. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be doing a limited release in the first sales and we'll be closely working with those customers. But the idea is that they will be uh, individual customers who are using it for recreational use mm -hmm. um, in the Part 103 category. Okay, great. great. It's, it's amazing. You've got some simulators here for the initial training. I understand that's how you know, you can't get a two-place version mm -hmm. for training. Uh, it looks like they actually got some motion to it. That's great. Yeah, uh, so that's how they uh, they simulate the pitch back that you get when you go into that hover mode because we want to make sure that operators are used to that feeling and know what it's going to be like before they ever hop into the aircraft. Yeah, sounds, good. sounds good. I'm going to have to try it out. It's really uh, fun. Um, any uh, roadblocks you've seen so far or you imagine as far as regulation might come into it? I know you're doing it under ultralight, but they may say, uh, at what point will they say, hey, we need extra control of it or monitoring? We're really happy with the way things are going. Yeah, Good. we we can design an aircraft that can fly 30 miles in 30 minutes and is speed regulated to 62 miles an hour to be in that part 103 class. Um, but we think this aircraft is exceptionally fun to fly, is very, very safe. It has triple modular redundant systems and a ballistic parachute, as well as uh, a training program that really equips the operator to know how to handle, maintain, and control their aircraft. This is amazing. I'm, there's so many neat things coming out. It's like, how do you decide which one you want to focus on? Um, I'm sure your, your, your engineers and all your testers are totally in you know, an amazement of how fast everything's going. Um, 
there's a lot of work happening behind the scenes. So I think, uh, you know, day to day we're, we're working away at our office in, in Palo Alto and at our test sites. And we, we know the mission of the company. We know what has to happen. We know all the test points that we have to hit. Um, and uh, we're, we're working on that, on that roadmap. Okay, great. And then you mentioned earlier that you're looking to hire people. Absolutely. Uh, any particular experience? Uh, engineers, manufacturing workers, people with uh, history and quality, safety, regulation, uh, general team players, people who are willing to roll up their sleeves and help where, where help is needed. Um, uh, we have a really, really strong technical team and uh, uh, we're excited to see it grow. I'm looking forward to it. And right now you're saying manufacturing in Palo Alto. Uh, do you, are you guys doing like pre-orders? I know you're opening it up, but do you have an idea of how many what the demand is so far? Uh, so our whole philosophy with the company is that we don't do pre-orders, we don't do promises, we don't do um, predictions, as we really say what we're doing now. So we'll have a sales event in the fall when we have the aircraft ready to sell. Uh, and they're being produced right now, and they're flying right now, and we're on track to meet that goal. Great. Would it be too much to ask where that sales event is going to be? Uh, so you should sign up to our newsletter, and you'll uh, be the first to know. <laughs> Sounds like a good way to get sign up, people to sign up. Uh, anything else you'd like to share with our uh, audience? Maybe we can see you down at Sun and Fun. Uh, absolutely. So we are flying tomorrow at 1130. Uh, I really hope that you can join and, and see. Check out the videos on our website. Um, and uh, just uh, you know, keep liking all of our Facebook feeds. We're, we're really excited about what we're, what we're doing. And uh, better things are, are on the horizon. I like that view. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Christina. And once again, this is Brian Purdy with the Florida Aviation Network with Christina Minton with the opener, uh, LLC, and the Black Fly. Have a great day. As a standard feature, all takeoffs on this vehicle are automated, enabling even the newest pilot to look like they are a pro. In addition to return to home, we also do have demo flight capabilities, letting new operators get used to the behavior of the vehicle during takeoff and landing operations while not being on the stick. That one is computer controlled and gets you comfortable with the vehicle's behavior. So takeoffs are traditionally at 45 degrees. As you can see, all props are turning in the same direction. We are going through pre-flight checklists, ver verifying that all control surfaces are working. They have now swapped directions and increased in speed. She is beginning her liftoff. <laughs>